Hello, in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to enroll or change your benefits through eBenefits Online. With three quick steps, you can enroll or change enrollment in a benefits program for you and your dependents. The first step is to make sure you have submitted the required eBenefits self-service electronic signature authorization form to Human Resources. If you have not previously completed this form, it can be accessed via the link located in the New Employee Employment Paperwork webpage referenced in your welcome letter or packet or can be found online. This form must be completed and returned to HR before your online benefit elections or changes can be accepted. The next step is to visit the Enrolling in the Benefits Program webpage. Review the information in each menu and determine the plans and options that work best for you. These menus include information you'll need on hand to enroll and what documents you'll need to submit copies of in order to validate and process your request. With the first two steps complete, it's time for the final step of signing in to access your e-benefits and indicating your benefit elections. Visit the CSUN homepage at csun.edu. Select the My Northridge portal and log in with your CSUN username and password. Both faculty and staff need to select the Staff tab. In the Human Resources slash Employee Pagelet, select the Enroll in My Benefits link. Read through the information on the Benefits Enrollment page. If you are a new employee, your selection reads Health Benefits Enrollment. If you are a current employee, your selection option will read Open Enrollment. If it is not Open Enrollment, no information will populate. The clickable icon provides you with additional information about Open Enrollment. Once you're ready to begin, choose the Select button. The enrollment page displays your current enrollment benefits. As you make selections or changes, you'll see the new benefit display. There are a few important notes about enrolling. Any life insurance, accidental death and dismemberment, and or long-term disability is determined by your collective bargaining unit and cannot be changed. You can opt in for medical and dental coverage, or dental and medical flex cash, but not both. And lastly, if there is no change to your benefits enrollment, you can scroll to the bottom of the page and choose, I have no changes. Each benefit selection is similar, so let's take a look at the medical benefit and make a change. The rates displayed will change each year. You'll see your current enrollment benefit selected. If you want to change, select the appropriate radio button above the coverage level of your new plan. To include a dependent, place a check mark next to the name of the dependent and choose the continue button. If you need to add a dependent, choose the add review dependent button. Select the add a dependent link. Fill out the personal information form and select the save button. You'll be prompted to select the OK button and review your information. Navigate back to the summary page by selecting the link at the bottom of the pages. With your plan selected, you can scroll to the bottom of the page to enroll the new dependent into the new plan with you. Place a check mark by the dependent's name and select the Continue button. Review the cost and select the OK button. You'll see your new benefit listed along with the updated cost. Move through each enrollment benefit carefully reviewing the enrollment summary once your selection is made. In the Flexible Spending Benefits, you'll enter the total annual pledge and the system will calculate the monthly deduction from your paycheck. To finalize your new enrollment changes, read the information above and select the check mark and the sign button. Then select the submit button. Congratulations! Your benefit choices have been submitted and you can proceed with the OK button.